night, a horse that was badly beaten and neglected for years is getting a second chance. Samson once carted tourists to and from Havasu at the Grand Canyon. Nine in your sides, Jennifer Martinez shows us how a local organization, Equine Voices Rescue and Sanctuary, is helping Samson. This was the last time Samson would ever trek up the most beautiful and desired destination in Arizona. We left out about four o'clock in the morning and five and a half hours later we came up on top of the canyon with with this blind guy. He was one of the Wrangler's horses so he he basically was ridden up and down the canyon uh, several times a day and uh, and did it probably for a good eight years. Volunteers with Equine Voices Rescue and Sanctuary, along with other vets, took a trip down the canyon. They serviced more than 70 horses owned by tribal members in Havasupai. Really, we just worked with the with the tribe in order to really take care of the horses. So we we did vaccinations and uh, hoof trimming and teeth floating and deworming and. Uh, just invited the, the tribal community to come and, and bring their animals to us. They educated tribal members about how to properly care for their horses, something the sanctuary says is a common problem. The horses work day in and day out, giving rides to tourists up and down the canyon to have a soup high, a total of about eight miles. From there, we uh, we knew there was a need for this guy. Uh, the owner basically relinquished uh, him over to the animal control. Um, of the tribe, and they uh, they basically said, "No, you're you're welcome to take him." Samson was exhausted and in bad condition, nearly 200 pounds below healthy weight. He was blind, his eye punched out by his owner, and scars on his back from heavy packs. His hooves are in such bad shape down here. When Samson was being rescued, he was jumping at least three feet in the air. This behavior shows that Samson has seen some neglect and abuse from his previous owners. Now at the sanctuary, they're teaching Samson how to be a horse again. He's getting used to people, re-socializing, and most importantly, he'll never be hurt again. Jennifer Martinez, Kega 9, on your side. What a beautiful horse. Glad he is in good hands.